Okay, selamat so uh, petang semua. Very good evening, everyone. Okay, uh, very uh, very welcome to our trial class for mathematics. Ah, uh. okay, selamat so datang ke kelas percubaan untuk uh, matematik hari ini. Okay, cikgu adalah panggil cikgu uh, Joanna. Okay, you can call teacher Miss Joanna. I am a founder for this YouTube channel SPM Malaysia. Okay, pernah uh, subscribe tak cikgu punya YouTube? Have you ever subscribed? Oh, already, yeah. If you haven't subscribed, you may go to my YouTube and you search for this SPM Malaysia. Then you can see this logo. Then you can press subscribe lah. Okay, kalau tak pernah subscribe, boleh uh, search ini SPM Malaysia. Okay, so uh, saya tampak hari ini banyak yang form 5 kan? Any form 4 student here? Ada form 4 tak? Form 4 student also can learn lah. This one, although it's form 5 lah, but it's easy lah. I mean like uh, you will learn also in form 5. Tak ada, semua form, form 5 saja. Tak ada form 4. <laughs> okay. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go to the notes first. Eh? So you guys will enter form 5 soon, correct? Kamu akan masuk form 5 bulan depan kan? Next month. So let's see what you will learn in this uh, form 5. The new thing is called matrix lah. But then maybe you don't know what is matrix. Tak pernah dengar apa tu matrix kan? Tapi kamu pernah dengar tak persamaan serentak? Have you heard about simultaneous equation? Yes, right. Okay, persamaan serentak tu maksudnya ada dua persamaan. Or two equation, right? And then normally, uh, actually from one you learn already. From one, kamu boleh selesai guna graph. Kan? You draw two graph like, for example, one graph like this, second graph like this, and then kamu akan dapat titik persilangan. So, ini adalah kamu punya jawapan. Kan? First method is graph. Then, do you remember second method is what? Ingat tak? Ah, elimination substitution, correct? Penghapusan. Elimination. And then, penggantian. Substitution. Okay, this one you already learn in form 1 to form 3. Ha? Tingkatan 1 hingga tingkatan 3 sudah siap kita belajar. Dan apa yang kamu akan belajar lagi? Satu lagi kita panggil dia matrix. Okay, matrix. So, matrix is the new thing you will learn. It's a, another form. Cara yang baru lah untuk selesaikan persamaan serentak. To solve a simultaneous. But then I just want you to know what is matrix first. Ah. Matrix is not uh, no x, no y. Tak ada x, y bagi ah, Siapa tak suka algebra tu, kamu pasti suka cara ini. If you don't like algebra, you don't, want, don't like x, y, ah, you will love this method. Okay, this method is like, for example, ah, I give you some idea. Lah. Matrix is a form like this. It can be A, B, C, D. Oh, don't worry. A, B, C, D is not algebra. A, B, C, D is a number. A, B, C, D itu adalah tempat untuk nombor. Eh? So, also it can be like, this is called two row, two column. Ini panggil dua baris, dua laju. Two row, two column. So, it's two times two. Eh? Dua darab dua. Then, kalau saya cakap macam ni, E, F. Ini berapa baris kamu nampak? How many row? Row, baris. One row only? No, it's two row. Dua baris. Berapa laju? How many column? One column, correct. Satu laju. So, dia panggil dua darab satu. Two times one. Eh? Two row, one column. This is two times two. Okay, then how about this one? Can you tell me is what times what? E, uh, I say X, Y, Z, S, T, U. How many rows, how many columns? Berapa baris, berapa laju? Two times three, very good. Dua darab tiga. Two times three, easy right? Oh, of course, this one is just introduced. Ah. Ini kita bagi tahu kamu. Macam mana kamu tengok? Sini saya bagi warna dulu. So this is two row, dua baris, and then two column. 
dua laju macam ni. So far okay ah. Okay so sekarang cikgu nak ajar kamu terus ah saya terus masuk. Macam mana kita buat persamaan serentak? Persamaan serentak ini mesti keluar dalam SPM. Yes, it's a very hot question. Every year definitely come out and every year you must compulsory answer. Soalan wajib ini. Okay, contoh. Saya uh, sambil saya ajar kamu macam mana buat persamaan lah. Okay, sini dia cakap you run masuk pertandingan badminton untuk orang dewasa adalah RM12 dan juga untuk kanak-kanak adalah RM5. Okay, saya buat macam ni dulu. Dewasa, okay, adult and then kanak-kanak, kids. Okay, they tell you for adult is RM12, for kids is RM5. Okay? And then, do you know how many of them actually? Tahu tak ada berapa dewasa, berapa kanak-kanak? Tak tahu kan? You don't know because the question say, can you using the matrix method find the number of adult and a number of children? Cari bilangan orang dewasa dan bilangan kanak-kanak. So, kalau saya cakap, dewasa adalah X orang, kanak-kanak adalah Y orang. Okay, X people and Y people. X adult, Y kids. Okay, then they say, a group of 180 people, jumlah 180. Jumlah 180. Maksudnya persamaan dia macam mana? Do you know the equation for total 180 people? How many adult? X, right? X dewasa. How many kids? Y kids. They say total is 180 people. Jumlah 180 orang. So, sini adalah X dewasa tambah Y kanak-kanak jumlah 180. X adult plus Y kids people is 180 people. And then, jumlah harga adalah 1740 ringgit. Total price is 1740 ringgit. So, how to form Second equation. Macam mana bentuk persamaan kedua? Bilangan orang darab dengan harga. Bilangan orang darab dengan harga. Lepas tu kita tambah dapat jumlah. Okay? Like, oh, 12 ringgit mah. If one people 12 ringgit, two people 24 ringgit. So, the price multiply with the number of people plus together is the total fees. This one okay or not? How much per one person times how many people? Okay, so now you got two equation ready. Ada dua persamaan. Cikgu ajar kamu. Mungkin first time kamu akan blur. Ha? Lepas tu kamu akan tahu macam mana buat. Okay, you just follow teacher first. I teach you, the first thing first is you need to make three column. Three bracket. Buat tiga bracket. Lepas tu sini ada satu, dua, tiga, empat. Kita akan letak dekat sini. We'll put at here. So this is one, one. Correct? Satu, satu. And then this is twelve, this is fifteen. Just copy the number. Nombor saja. Dua belas dengan lima. Lepas itu, sini kita letak X dengan Y. We put X and Y. Sini kita letak 180 dengan 1740. Okay, so far got problem or not? Let's say this is 1, 1. I fill in the number here. Number, fill in here. And then 180, 1740. Letak sini. This one, fill in in this bracket. X, Y, X, Y, put here X, Y. Means that I change from equation become matrix. Ini adalah bentuk persamaan. Kita tukar kepada bentuk matrix. Okay, so sekarang saya nak cuba selesaikan nilai X dengan nilai Y. Dia ada tiga langkah. There's three steps to solve. Eh? Step one. I want to find XY, so this one need to move here. 
Ini kena pindah. Jadi, saya akan letak X, Y sini. Okay, masa pindah, pindah tu bahagi betul tak? If multiply, move should become divide. But can I divide like this? Matrix boleh tak saya bahagi macam ni? Tak boleh. Like this is wrong already. Macam ni salah. Jadi macam mana kita nak jadi bahagi? Kena ikut format. Ah. You see how teacher move. Ah. How teacher make it divide? The format is called the, no, uh, determinant. Ini panggil penentuan. Eh. So, satu kena darab dengan lima. One times five minus tolak. Eh. Tolak apa? Ini satu darab dengan dua belas. One times twelve. Okay, and then. Yang saya lukis anak panah ini. Kamu kena tukar. Tempat. The one I draw arrow need to change place. So one change to five, five change to one. Can you see that? Satu jadi lima, lima dengan satu tukar tempat. Then the one I didn't draw arrow change sign. Yang saya tak lukis anak uh, anak panah itu kena tukar sign. So positive. One become negative one. Positive two become eh, positive twelve become negative twelve. Positive jadi negative. Negative jadi positive. And then don't forget this one we put here. Letak sini. Seratus lapan puluh satu tujuh empat kosong. Okay, so far. Catch, uh, can you catch up? Yes, ah. Huh? Okay, can you help teacher one thing? Press your calculator. What is this? Cuba kamu tekan. Apakah nilai ini? Satu darab lima tolak satu darab dua belas. One times five minus one times twelve. What do you get? Negative seven. Correct. Negative tujuh. Okay, lepas tu, bracket ini kena darab dengan bracket ini. Ini kena darab, multiply. But how to multiply? Macam mana darab? Saya ajar kamu guna ikan, eh? use fish. So, the first one, the fish is sleeping. Ikan ini tidur banyak. Okay, can you see a fish sleeping like this? Okay, eh? then this one, the fish is standing. Ini ikan berdiri banyak. Standing fish. Okay. So, senang saja sebenarnya. Ikan yang pertama, ikan ini, kita akan darab dengan ikan yang berdiri. First row. Eh? So, kepala darab dengan kepala. Head with head. Eko dengan eko. Hell with hell. So, lima darab dengan 180. Tambah negatif satu darab dengan 1740. Okay, this one okay or not? Head with head, hell with hell. Now, we see the second one. Ikan yang bawah itu. Oh, you count for me already. Thank you. Wait a ah. I copy this one first. So, ikan yang kedua sama juga dengan darab ini. So, kepala dengan kepala. Head with head, multiply. Tail with tail, multiply. Plus together. So, negative 12 darab dengan 180. 1 darab dengan 1740. Okay, baru sekarang kamu tolong saya kira ini berapa? You count this one is what? 5 darab 180 tambah negatif 1 darab 1740. This one is negative 840, right? Then the second one? Negative 12, 180 
plus 1740. Negative 420. Okay. Negatif 420. Okay, lepas tu. Sekarang kita kena bahagi dengan negatif 7. All of them divide negative 7. So, negative 84 divide negative 7 is what? A negative 840 divide negative 7. 120, 120 orang. Then, negative 420 divide negative 7. Negative 420 bagi negative 7 dapat 60 orang. Jadi, berapa dewasa, berapa kanak-kanak? How many adults? Dewasa adalah X. So, we got 120 adult. 120 dewasa, 60 kanak-kanak. 60 kids. Very easy, eh? Yeah, first time maybe some people cannot get. Okay, but uh, later, second question, third question, you will know already. Oh, you want to know about the fish, ah? Huh? Okay, the first one must be sleeping fish. Ini mesti yang tidur punya. Sleeping fish. This one is standing fish. Ini ikan yang berdiri. Boleh? So, ini ke kepala, ini ekor. Kepala, ekor. Head, tail, head, tail. So, ikan yang pertama darab dengan ikan yang kedua. Mesti tidur dengan berdiri. ya. Must be sleeping and lay down. So, this one... 5 times 180, head with head. Kepala, kepala, darab. So, 5 times 180. And then, tail with tail. Echo dengan echo. So, negative 1 dengan 1740. Negative 1 with 1740. This one, understand? Understand already, ya? Eh? Same also, the second fish. Head with head. So, negative 12, 180. Negative 12, 180. Tell with tell. Negative 1 and 1740. Macam mana nak bezakan dia? <laughs> Beza apa? Eh? Beza ikan ke? Beza apa? Okay, how about like this? You, you screenshot first. I show you the second question first. Okay, I, I think I teach you the fish first lah. Saya ajar kamu ikan dulu ah. Kamu screenshot dulu. Now I teach you about fish ah. Okay, contoh. Saya buat macam ni lagi. So, sini ada 2, 3, 4, 5. Then this one is let's say negative 2 and uh, 6. Okay, macam mana kita nak lukis ikan? How to draw the fish? First one is sleeping fish. Ini tidur punya. So, fish. I draw like this lah. Can you see a fish? Nampak ikan? Like this. More like fish lah, right? Then, second one. Okay, like this. Standing fish. Ini ikan yang uh, berdiri ya. Stand. Okay, so sekarang kita tengok ikan yang pertama. Ini kena darab dengan ini. Multiply. So, how to multiply? Macam mana darab? Siapa boleh bagi tahu saya nombor apa darab dengan nombor apa? What number times what number? Head with head, correct. So, 2 times negative 2, correct. 2 darab negative 2. Then, tambah apa? 3 darab 6, betul. 3 times 6. Echo dengan echo, betul. So, ini faham tak? Okay, kan? Sekarang kita cakap ikan yang kedua. Second row, the fish. Can you tell teacher what times what? Apa darab apa kali ni? Four times negative two, correct. Empat darab negative dua. Lepas tu tambah apa? 
5 darab 6 betul. 5 times 6. So, do you understand now how to multiply the fish and fish? Okay? Easy, right? Very simple one. And then you just solve lah. Kamu cuma tekan calculator. Oh, ini berapa? 2 times negative 2 plus 3 times 6. 2 darab negative 2 tambah 3 darab 6. 14. Okay, then bawah ni 4 darab negatif 2 tambah 5 darab 6. Twenty two dua puluh dua. Okay, this is we call it multiplication of matrix. Pendarapan. Okay, saya bagi lagi satu soalan ah. In case you don't understand, I give you one more question. Yeah, this is for simultaneous. You're right. Soalan persama persamaan serentak. Okay, another one ah. Okay, this time I say 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3. Okay, how to draw the fish? First fish is sleeping. Sini punya ikan, tidur punya. Sleeping fish. Second fish is standing. Ikan kedua berdiri punya. So, boleh tak kamu bagi tahu saya atas punya ni? Apa darah apa dulu? Can you tell me? Five times two, correct. Lima darab dua. Tambah dengan apa? Plus. Tell with tell. Six times three. Enam tambah tiga. Okay, then how about the second fish? Ikan kedua. Seven times two, correct. Tujuh darab dua. Then tambah apa? Lapan darab tiga. Eight times three. So you can solve this one. Lima darab dua tambah enam darab tiga. Five times two plus six times three is what? Twenty-eight. Dua puluh lapan. Dan selesai ini pula. 7 darab 2 tambah 8 darab 3. 7 times 2 plus 8 times 3. 38. 38. Okay, faham tak faham sekarang? Hopefully you understand the fish already. Eh? Okay kan, fish. Okay, so now I show you second simultaneous question. Soalan persamaan serentak yang kedua. Okay, kamu baca dulu soalan. 30 second read the question. Okay. Uh, Ali sell two model of refrigerator. Ali jual dua model peti sejuk. So, ada model A, model B. So, they say, I will sell 15 refrigerator. Kita akan jual jumlah 15 peti sejuk. Eh, tapi kamu tahu tak A ada berapa, B ada berapa? Tak tahu kan? They ask you to find what? Find how many A and how many B you sell. Dia suruh kita cari bilangan unit A dan bilangan unit B yang kita jual. Jadi saya akan letak oh, A tu kita jual X buah. We sell X A and Y buah untuk B. Then dia cakap jumlah 15. Oh. Total 15. So what is the formula equation? A plus B 15, correct? Or I say X plus Y 15. X buah A dengan Y buah B jumlah 15. And then they, another question they say, they sell with 15300 ringgit Malaysia total. So here they mention A is 1002, B is 900. Okay, A satu unit seribu dua, B satu unit sembilan ratus. Jumlah kita akan dapat satu lima tiga kosong kosong. Apakah persamaan kedua? 
Ah, kamu kena ingat. Ini harga satu buah kan? Tapi kamu ada X buah. Apa kamu buat? You need to multiply, multiply and then plus equals to this. So it's what? 1,002X plus 900Y, 15300. Okay? If one of the bracket is missing, is it wrong? What do you mean one of the bracket? Eh? Total, you have three bracket. So, let's see how to solve the simultaneous. Kita cuba, eh? Okay, berapa bracket kita kena lukis? Tiga bracket. Okay, three bracket. Okay, first bracket is number. Kita kena letak nombor. So, nombor X, nombor Y. Sini nombor berapa? What is the number of X? One. Number Y? One. Okay, lepas tu kita kena letak nombor X yang kedua. Nombor X, nombor Y. So, nombor bawah sini tulis apa? Berapa sini? 1,000 to 1,002. Then, yang nombor sini? 9. 900. Can? Just the number. Eh? Okay, then apa yang saya letak sini pula? What should I write here? XY, correct. XY. Apa yang saya letak sini? 15 and 15300. 15-15300. Okay. Lepas tu, jangan lupa kita kena buat satu anak panah. Draw a arrow first. Or you forget to put matrix out. If you forget to put matrix, means you are not doing matrix already. You forget to put the bracket, means not matrix. Ah. Matrix must have bracket. Tak ada bracket salah. Okay? Okay, so mula-mula, saya akan pindahkan ke sebelah kanan. I need to move this one to the right hand side. Pindah ini ke sebelah kanan. So, kena bahagi. One over. One over who first? Follow the arrow. Ikut anak panah. Satu darab sembilan ratus. Bahagi tu tambah atau tolak? Device plus or minus? Minus, correct. Minus who? Tolak siapa? Tolak yang sebelah ini dua. 1 times 1,200. Oh, very smart, eh? Is it the one fixed here? Yes. Ini mesti satu bingat. Sebab bahagi, kan? Okay, then. Yang ada anak panah, tukar apa? The one with arrow, I need to change place. Tukar tempat, betul. 900 dengan 1. Then, yang tak ada anak panah, tukar apa? The one with no... Arrow, change sign, correct. Tukar simbol dia. So, 1 become negative 1. 1, 1,002 become negative 1,002. Tukar sign tapi tak ada tukar di mana tempat. Eh? Don't forget this one. Ini letak paling hujung. Put at the back. Yeah, this is this is actually we call it inverse matrix. Ah, ini panggil matrix songsang. Maksudnya kita dari darab tukar jadi bahagi. From multiplication we become division, so it's called inverse. Ah, okay. So after that, can you count this one for me? Kira ini satu bahagi berapa sini? Negatif. 300, correct. Oh, what should I do now? Eh? Apa yang saya harus buat? Ikan. Job better fish for you first. So this one also fish. Hungry already. Eh? Senang nak ingat dengan ikan, ya betul. Your school teacher teach already? Yeah? No, not yet. Oh, okay. But this method, many students like it because it's 
it's easier than uh, elimination and substitution. Uh. I mean, they don't have algebra. Okay, so we see this one first. Who times who? Siapa darah siapa dulu? Ikan yang pertama ni. Kepala dengan kepala. So, head with head. 900 times 15. 900 darab dengan 15. And then tambah apa? Tell with tell. Negative 1 with 15300. Correct. Negative 1, 1, 5, 3, 0, 0. Negative mesti bracket. Eh? Okay, then ikan kedua. Second fish. Eh, second, yeah, second fish. So, head with head. Negative 1,002 times 15. Kepala dengan kepala. Negative 1,002 darab dengan 15. Tambah. Okay, tell with tell. 1 times 15300. Okay, can you count the first row? Cuba kamu kira baris pertama ini berapa? Hmm, so big amount, are you sure? You get negative one zero five three. 500. Negative 1,008. Negative 1,008. How about the second row? Kira baris kedua. Negative 1,002 darab 15 tambah. Negative 2,007. Betul. Okay, so sekarang kamu kena buat apa? Last step. Bahagi dengan negative. 300. You divide negative 300. What do you get? A number two. Okay. Negative 1008 divide negative 300 is 6. How about negative 2007 divide negative 300? Negative 2007 bahagi negative 300. 9 betul. 9. So, freezer A, you sell 6. Freezer B, you sell 9. Okay, peti sejo A, kita jual 6. Peti sejo B, kita jual 9. So now, do you have idea already? Feel better, right? Semakin bagus sudah kamu punya uh, flow eh, daripada soalan satu. Okay, one more question, do you want? This is how SPM asks. Like this only. Sampai ini saja, eh, dia punya tahap. So, you want me to upgrade also like this also? <laughs> Nothing to upgrade uh, for this question. Okay, right. So, if you are able to answer this question, uh, the ans this question got five marks. Lima markup. Senang-senang dapat lima markup. Yeah, free being here, betul, bonus. Tapi kena pandai lah. Tak pandai, mana ada free kan? Okay, let's see this question. Read first. Baca lima minit. Eh, lima minit. Sorry, sorry. Tiga puluh saat. Thirty second. Okay, apa yang dia jual? Eh? Dia jual ayam. Dia jual daging. He sell a uh, chicken and meat. So, ayam dia jual RMP for 1 kg. Daging RMQ for 1 kg. So, pada suatu hari, dia jual 56 kg ayam dengan 50 daging. And then, jumlah dia adalah 5 ringgit, 500 ringgit dan 502 dan 2 ringgit lah. Okay, so 56 kg of chicken and 50 kg of meat. And total, he received RM502. Can you form a question for me? Macam mana cari RM? Eh? You tell me the first equation first. Mm, well done. 
harga darab dengan kg. Harga darab dengan kg. Lepas tu tambah dapat jumlah harga. The price times the kg. The price times the kg. Plus together you get the total price. So it's 56p plus 50q equals to 502. Oh, second one already get ah. Eh? Good. Kedua. 60 kg of chicken. 60 kg ayam, 48 kg meat. 60 kg ayam, 48 kg daging. Jumlah RM 510. RM 510. So same also, 60p, 48q, 510. Okay, let's try this question. Yeah, solve together. Eh? First step, how many brackets you need to have? Three bracket, correct. Okay, three bracket. Huh? One, two, three. So, can you tell teacher the number that I should put here? Apa nombor saya letak atas? 56 and 50, correct. 5, 6, 50. How about the bottom two? Ini isi apa? 60 and 48. Correct. 60, 48. Okay, then second one, I should put what? Apa yang saya harus letak sini? PQ. Good. And then the last one, I should put 502 and 510. Okay, lepas kita isi sudah bracket. Saya kena lukis anak panang. Draw arrow. So, saya kena pindahkan ini ke sebelah kanan. Move here. Divide, right? So, divide must put one over. Okay, can you type in the chat? What should I fill in here? Tulis dalam chat. Apa yang saya kena isi sini? Hmm? Not confident kan? Oh, ada sudah. Okay, good. Correct. So, first, ini darab ini. 56 times 48 minus. Tolak. Ini darab ini. 50 times 60. So, siapa yang kena tukar tempat? Who need to change the place? 56 with 48. So, ini dua kena tukar tempat. Then, 50 kena tukar apa? Ini dengan ini kita tukar sign. So, become negative. Positive jadi negative. Negative jadi positive. Okay? Change the sign. Don't forget this one. Selalu pelajar lupa ini tau. Always student forget this one and then say, eh? I don't have second fish. Tak ada ikan sudah. So, sekarang kita kena selesai dulu yang bawah ni. Okay, apa yang kamu dapat? One over negative three one two. Correct. Okay, then here I need to draw the fish. Lukis ikan. The fish here, the fish here, and then the fish here. Yeah, these two only change sign. No change place. Tukar sign tak tukar tempat. Okay, so ini kita darab dengan ikan sini dulu. 
multiply with the fish here. So, kepala dengan kepala. Head with head. Ekor dengan ekor. Hell with hell. 48 times 502 plus negative 50 times 510. Tambah. Ke, kamu tahu kenapa tambah tak? You know why this is plus, this is minus. Kenapa ini tolak, ini tambah? Sebab ini pindah jadi bahagi kan? Multiply become divide, so we put minus. Then ini bracket dengan bracket darab. Darab, so kita letak tambah. These two bracket and bracket multiply, so it's plus. Don't get confused. Eh? Okay, then this one and this one. Head with head, tail with tail. Negatif 60 darab 502. 56 darab dengan 510. Okay, the first one, what you get? You try press in your calculator. Ini kamu cuba tekan. 48, 502, tambah negatif 50, darab 510. 1504, are you sure? 1404, I think you type for is it? Okay, how about the second row? Baris kedua. Negatif 60, 502, 56, 510. Ah, this one is negative 1560. Okay, bahagi dengan 312. All the number divide by negative 312. So you get 1404 bagi 312 dapat 4.5. Jangan guna Pecahan lah sini. Don't use fraction because it's ringgit. Eh? Ringgit. Ah, So ini bahagi dengan negatif 1, 2. Eh, 3, 1, 2. 5. Kalau bukan ringgit, boleh guna pecahan. If not ringgit, you can use decimal. Lah. So here you must say, oh, ayam. Ayam berapa ringgit 1 kg? How much? Can I say 4.5 per kg? Like this. Ah. No, you must put 4 ringgit 50 sen. Mesti ada 50 sen per kg. Then untuk daging berapa? How much is the meat? 5 ringgit per kg. 5 ringgit per kg. Oh, daging lagi mahal ah. True, yeah. So, okay, do you understand the today lesson actually? Faham hari ini punya kelas tak? Yes, yeah, so you like this class today? Yes. Oh, banyak S, huh? Okay, so, teacher asks you, do you want to get technique to get A in your SPM? You still got one more year to get SPM, right? Ah, form 4 ada 2 tahun lagi. Eh? Yes. So actually today, uh, kalau dalam bracket tak payah letak 4.50. Tak perlu, tak perlu. Jawapan akhir saja. Cikgu ada TikTok ke? Uh, cikgu tak buat TikTok. Eh? But uh, we can plan it, right? I never... Start yet, but maybe one day. Who knows? Okay, so uh, do you want to get personal one-to-one -one Q and A with teacher? Like means that if you got question, you can ask teacher. Boleh tanya cikgu soalan kalau kamu ada masalah. Yes. Okay, so how to get this one personal one-to-one? -one, eh? Siapa yang boleh tanya cikgu soalan? Okay, if let's say you join my tuition class, then you can ask me. Automatically, you can ask me if you join my class. Lah. So today is a trial, uh, trial class. Hari ni ada class cuba untuk kamu try. Macam mana cikgu punya online class. Eh? So cikgu ada class untuk form 4 dengan form 5, and maths, maths and account. Ada tiga subjek. So ini cikgu punya jadual. Kamu boleh screenshot. 
Ya, yeah, this is an online tuition lah. So, siapa yang tak dapat ikut bingga, jangan takut. Kamu masih boleh tengok video. You can watch recording actually lah. After the class, if you can't join today, like today, uh, you want to watch recording tomorrow, also can. Video itu tak ada expire date. Maksudnya, kalau saya nak tengok semasa sebelum exam, boleh tak? Contoh, hari ini March. Saya nak tengok bulan Oktober. Masih boleh tengok tak? Boleh. You can actually watch back the video. No expire date. So what you will get in the monthly class tuition, first you get live class like this every week. Setiap minggu kita ada live class, satu uh, jam 30 minit. Yeah, we will start from 1st of March. Ah. Satu March kita akan start dari bab satu sudah. Siapa nak join, ah, sila join awal. Lah. Jangan last minute nanti uh, terlepas banyak uh, kelas kan. Don't miss too many class. Ah. So after that, we will get you... a. Uh, Private video means that you will get the recording for the online class. Dapat recording and you can watch unlimited time. No matter one time, two time, three time also can watch. And you get the worksheet and notes in PDF. You get personal one-to-one Q&A. &one means that you got question, you can ask teacher. Are you around berapa nanti ya? And then you get hot, uh, practice on hot question. Kita boleh practice soalan exam. Macam mana exam akan keluar macam tadi. And then you also get technique to score A+. Plus. Like I will teach you, like the fish method, and so many methods. Every topic got different method. Lah. Okay, unique method, so you can easily understand. Okay, this is a good review from previous uh, student who joined my class. Actually, we already entered third year already. Uh, this is another student that from Sabah. Yeah, we actually have uh, many students from Terengganu, KL, Belis, uh, Perak, Sabah, Sarawak. Sebab kita buat online kan? Online, we can have uh, all the students from Malaysia. And this student from Sabah, she joined my class Form 5. Form 4 tak pernah join lah. So Form 4, dia punya account tak berapa bagus. Okay, dia bagi tahu saya dia punya marker sangat teruk. Tapi Form 5, ah, wah, terus dia dapat A+. And then ah, dia dapat best student for account in her school. So if you like, if you want to become like him, eh, then you can join me. Lah. Yeah, actually my class, not only him, got many is best student award for account. For yeah. So you can join me so you can get understand more in account. And uh, this student never join. Lah. She's just a uh, watch video and she get math 94 and math 68. For you to know MS is not easy, right? Susah kan untuk matematik tambahan nak pas pun susah. Okay, then this one she never join online class. She just buy video ah, beli video. Kamu boleh beli video banyak. Boleh beli bab satu, bab dua, bab tiga. Boleh ikut bab. Okay, and then dia dapat sembilan puluh lapan marka juga dalam account dengan beli video dan tengok video. Kalau beli video kebaikan dia adalah kamu boleh adjust sendiri banyak kelajuan. Kamu boleh satu hari habis tiga bab pun boleh. Satu minggu habis satu bab pun boleh. Ikut sendiri lah. Okay, you can manage your own time, own speed. Uh, this one also highest in her school. Kalau beli video, kamu nanti message cikgu. Message cikgu subjek apa dan bab berapa. Okay, you can message teacher how much, uh, which subject and which chapter you want to buy. You can buy whole year chapter or you can buy selected chapter also can. Okay, do you want to know the price for monthly tuition? Nak tahu tak harga monthly tuition berapa? Yes, okay, how much is it? Uh, have you ever joined other tuition class in other center? Yes, right. So normal price actually is 60 ringgit to 90 ringgit for one subject. But how much is ours? Is it 90? No, not so high. 70? No, 50? No. Okay, we got offer now. If you join one subject, it's 40 ringgit only. But if you join two subjects, only 75. Means you discount 5 ringgit already. Kalau tiga subject, 100 ringgit. Uh, 100 ringgit for three subjects. And then onwards lah. You can, form five students can join from four class ah. Okay, form five boleh join from four ringgit. Ataupun form five nak, uh, form five you join tuition. Form four you buy video also can. Boleh juga. So if you let's say want to register, please screenshot this one. Screenshot this page. 
And then maybe you can ask your parents to contact teacher if you're shy. But if you're not shy, you can contact me directly. Lah. Okay, kamu boleh uh, message cikgu. Nak beli video atau nak join class? Ataupun kamu suruh ibu bapa yang contact cikgu pun boleh. Yeah, okay. For video, the, the like we got a list lah actually. You can go to the link. I will send link later in the group. You can click the link and you can see for the video. Siapa nak beli video tengok sana? Ada list punya. Ada harga dengan ada list. Then, kalau kamu beli banyak video, macam kamu beli setahun punya video, cikgu akan bagi discount lah. Boleh ya? Okay. So, any question? Ada soalan lagi tak? No question already ya? Okay, hope to see you on March tuition class ah, Because we will start chapter 1 already. Okay, thank you class. Bye-bye.